Welcome back to the Mill Creek Government Channel. I'm Jessica Stutzman. The Presque Isle State Park lifeguards are the most elite and professional lifeguarding force in the state of Pennsylvania. Their mission is to promote public safety and community awareness on Presque Isle State Park through enhanced training, improved equipment, and greater fellowship for Presque Isle State Park lifeguards, both past and present. Joining us today to seek new talent interested in protecting our beaches is Steve Dunsmore, Lake Erie Lifeguard Manager at Presque Isle State Park. Steve, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. Well, I am so excited for the spring, summer, and fall season at Presque Isle State Park. I can't wait to take my family to the beaches and, and to go swimming, but uh, lifeguards are very much needed on Presque Isle and on our beaches. We are very, very different than um, swimming pools and mm -hmm. you know other areas with water. So. Um, why are lifeguards, again, needed so much at, state, at Presque Isle State Park? Well, lifeguards are needed predominantly for the public safety. Um, Presque, it, we'll, we'll get into it, but Presque Isle lifeguards play many different roles throughout the day, the week, throughout the summer. But the biggest thing that Presque Isle lifeguards do is they lifeguard the patrons that are swimming on the guarded beaches at Presque Isle. Uh, Lake Erie is the shallowest of all Great Lakes. Uh, making it the most dangerous. Uh, hence why if you go back you know 100, 200 years that's why there's so many shipwrecks in Lake Erie because of how rough and how dangerous it can get based on how shallow it is. Um, Lake Erie and lifeguarding at Presque Isle is all open water lifeguarding. Um, you know there's times that we have very windy days. Um, the bottom is stirred up, the water is murky. Uh, so that poses challenges for us as well. But some of the other things that Presque Isle lifeguards do is they, we get nearly three million visitors on average. Mm -hmm. um, majority of those visitors are during the summer months. So Presque Isle lifeguards, they, uh, they inform the public, not just the rules and regulations and where the swimming areas are, but they inform them of other activities and things going on in the park. Uh, you know, the, the lighthouse exhibit has been very popular the last several years. There's been a lot of time, effort, and money spent on revamping that area. Uh, so, you know, the guards answer questions from the public. Uh, maybe it's about the ferry slip, maybe it's about the lagoons, maybe it's about the Tom Ridge Center. Uh, they're just ambassadors, not just to Presque Isle, but to the Erie area as well. Um, a lot of times when the public comes in contact with a the lifeguard, there's the, there's a very strong chance that the, that's the only DCNR staff member, especially during the summer months, that the, the general public would encounter. Um, so we provide our guards with a lot of information and a lot of training so that they can help better serve the public and answer those questions, also protect the public as well. Mm -hmm. I like that word you used, ambassador, because that's what I feel like they're doing. Again, not only are they lifeguards and they are saving people's lives, but they're, they're doing so much more than that. Sure, they're preventing injuries and situations mm -hmm. from happening and developing by using their guarding skills. But again, with over three million visitors a year, there's a lot of questions that come from the public, not just about Presque Isle, but, but the area. And you know, we try to provide as much training and opportunity to our guards to inform the public of just, not just what a jewel Presque Isle is, but Erie County as well. And remind me, how long have lifeguards been serving Presque Isle? Lifeguards have been serving Presque Isle for a number, number of years. It, it goes back all the way into the, the 30s, 40s, 50s, um, and we had talked in the past um, about the history of Prescott lifeguarding and stuff, but just, just to kind of reiterate that, it was, um, there was the Harbor Bay Commission, they, they had lifeguards, the city of Erie had lifeguards, lifeguarding occurred on predominantly the Bay side years and years and years ago, and then um, the, the, the state had come in and they had done some enhancements lakeside and they had um, there were some water quality issues in the bay so they flipped it over to the to the lakeside and that's when the state came in and took over um, as far as all lifeguarding goes and there was really only three beaches back then beach one beach two and then beach three which was out by beach ten um, or what we refer to now on the map uh, as beach ten and but but since then, the state's done a phenomenal job. Um, for those of you that haven't seen, you know, Beach 8, Pet Auto area has really been revamped with new bathhouse, new facilities, parking lots. Um, so we're, the state is taking the approach now where 
you know, we have just as many lifeguards as we've had in the past um, 10, 15 years, but we're trying to enhance that public and visitor experience by putting them in areas that, um, you know, have lots of parking, that have, you know, restrooms and facilities for families and individuals to use. Mm -hmm. And what are the press or prerequisites to become a Prescott Park lifeguard? Because they may be different than, again, your average mm -hmm. um, community pool or something sure. like that. Sure. So there's a couple key things that we that really have to happen. Uh, number one, you need to be a male or female. You need to be at least 16 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, before you apply, you have to come to you have to come to us with either your with the following certifications lifeguarding cpr first aid now you can um, like this time of year you can be in the process of obtaining those certifications you just have to have those in hand by the by your hire date mm -hmm. uh, some of the other things that we're looking for is you you have to be able to give us 40 hours a week or be be flexible to be scheduled 40 hours a week predominantly holidays weekends uh, you know, there's Saturdays and Sundays. We have 60,000 people on that park in July, and that's when people want to be visiting Presque Isle, predominantly for the beaches. We need our staff, you know, working those those times. Um, as far as the physical requirements go, there's there's several, but the three biggest components are: you have to be able to swim 50 yards freestyle in a pool in under 30 seconds. You have to be able to swim 550 yards in the pool in under nine minutes and 40 seconds, and you have to be able to hold a 10-pound brick um, at, at chest depth or chest height for two minutes without letting go. Um, if you can get through and you can do those three skills um, in those times, the other skills and the other uh, stations that are involved as far as lifeguarding at Prescott, we can work with you, we can train you on those um, as far as the rescues, we can probably clean a couple things up, um, but you really need those three main physical um, skill levels uh, to, to be a Prescott lifeguard. Now, a lot of people will say, well, I didn't come from a competitive swimming background. That's okay. We've had many guards over the years that weren't necessarily part of a club or a high school or collegiate swim team. They're just really good athletes. Um, again, if you can meet those three physical um, requirements of us, like I said, we, we can train you and work with you in honing your current skills to, to better those other skills. Um, We've had individuals that are volleyball players. We've have individuals that are cross country runners. We have individuals that uh, were soccer players. They were just good natural athletes uh, with you know the stamina uh, to to be able to do our physical requirements as far as meeting meeting those. And again, once somebody becomes a lifeguard and and they've passed the test and proven mm -hmm. um, to you that they can handle uh, the job. You offer recertifications Certainly, yes. in, in several courses. What are those certifications? So once uh, once an individual applies and they, they get hired on, they'll go through a, a two-week orientation. And right off the bat this year, we're going to start with the, the orientation is going to start off with we're going to be running uh, a dual certification Red Cross in USLA lifeguarding. Um, they'll get recertified in both of those cert certifications for lifeguarding, CPR, first aid, AED, oxygen administration. Um, it's really key for our individuals to be up on their training because we never know when they're going to need the skills that, to, to, that they've learned to apply to a real life emergency uh, situation. Mm -hmm. and Again, bloodborne pathogens, emergency oxygen, mm -hmm. AEDs are huge right now, and waterfront lifeguarding. I mean, that's just incredible. That's a great skill set to have sure. currently, you know, for the position that they'll be holding. And then just in the future, right. really outside of lifeguarding, you could save somebody's life. Absolutely. And there's there's actually, we have one, uh, one employee who... Uh, has has worked for us, and he became a Prescott lifeguard. He went through his training, and he was at um, he was it was in the fall. He was going through cross country practice one afternoon after school, and on one of his runs, there was a person that needed his assistance or that needed medical assistance. He ran over and started um, giving them assistance uh, prior to the ambulance coming and being transported to the hospital. And you know, it's it, they're great skills to have, and you never know when you're gonna when you're gonna need them. But um, we, we do, every day that the guards work at Presque Isle, they get some form of training, mm -hmm. um, physical, 
skill work. Um, we have a partnership with Allegheny Health Network now where um, several times throughout the summer, usually two to three times throughout the, each month, Allegheny Health Network brings in their professionals and we do a very intense uh, CPR class with them where they're practicing on mannequins that record all of their compressions, records the effectiveness and their breath ratios, and it gives the each guard an individual printout so that they can see how effective their hand placement is, how effective their breaths are. It's you know done as, as a teaching tool so that if and when they have to do it in real life, whether it be at Presque Isle or later down the road, it's important to have those skills and to continuously be practicing those. That is really neat, and I did not even know that something like that existed. Mm -hmm. um, can you describe a typical day in the life of a Presque Isle lifeguard? Sure. So typically, your first, second year guards are going to report um, to us at 11 a.m., and they're going to get their beach assignment. We'll go over whatever we need to for the day, whether it be, you know, wind, weather, waves, there could be the possibility of thunderstorms. We have, you know, constantly the anywhere for groups of people anywhere from 20 to 200 coming and visiting us and you know we, we look at those numbers and we may assign different groups to different areas so we give the supervisors and the guards the heads up that you know from such and such time you're you're going to have a large group of you know seventh and eighth graders visiting your beach from from out of town so we we just go over just the daily routine of what they need to know. So then we break them up into groups and they'll spend the next 45 minutes, they'll be doing some type of physical training, whether they go for a long run, they'll go for a swim. Um, the, another group will then spend 15 minutes on some type of skill, whether it be CPR, whether it be backboarding. Uh, we'll break up, uh, the third group will go over rules and regulations, they'll go over policy, uh, radio transmissions, emergency action plans. So we'll have three groups going, we'll rotate them through every 15 minutes. So each group will re is required to com complete each one of those trainings before they go to their beach. Now let's say that um, they're unable to complete one of those, maybe the physical, because they you know weren't able to or they experienced an injury, then they, they're not re permitted to report to their beach for the day. So once the guards, they're, they're assigned to different areas and typically, um, with the exception of our supervisors, we always they always work this, typically the same beach, but our younger and less experienced guards that work underneath the supervisors, they're, they're assigned to different areas each day. They'll go to their beach. Uh, we'll, we provide everything that they would need, um, with the exception of a lunch, right down to sunscreen, whistle, full uniform, uh, hats, sun umbrellas, first aid kit, radios. Um, all they would really need to do is bring their, their lunch with them. And they're assigned to their, to their beach. The supervisor will assign them to their designated area. Uh, they'll spend from 12 o'clock until 7.30 there. They're given one 30-minute break. Uh, two 15-minute breaks to you know use the restroom maybe they want to go in the water go for a short swim mm -hmm. to cool off that type of thing um, then at, at the end of the day you know they clear everyone out of the water and they return their equipment to lifeguard headquarters and then they're done for the day wow that is a lot and it is a, it is a very long day mm -hmm. it is a very long day and you know if you can envision just how how the weather changes in eight hours you know there's days that it's we start and it's flat calm and there's you know not a ripple on that lake by four o'clock there's a strong west wind and you know there's four foot r waves rolling in and we have a strong lateral current and the guards are in the water pulling the public back and pulling the markers in and readjusting swimming areas or you know it's there, there's a lot that can go on at any given point in time and they they are long days um, they but they're fun days mm -hmm. and you know you're constantly interacting with people you're informing them of rules regulations answering their questions um, you know you're helping people there's times you know someone loses their child we assist, we're there to help and assist and, and relocate that child yes I'm sure it's very rewarding it's extremely rewarding you know our, our mission statement at Presque Isle for lifeguarding is, is prevention and every person that comes down Peninsula Drive and comes down onto the park we want them to leave the same way that they came with the exception of we want to make sure that they had a fun enjoyable time regardless if they were out of Perry's Monument or they were kayaking in the lagoons 
or swimming on the on the beaches, you know, we want to make sure that they have a positive experience at Presque Isle. So, you know, we're there to answer questions. We're there to help them. Mm -hmm. You know, they the public needs to understand that we we have our their best interests at hand. Ultimately, their safety. Mm -hmm. And you have some busy days. I see the Fourth of July is very busy, mm -hmm. and the Discover Presque Isle days. Certainly. So. You know, there's there's times, and even you know, late June, it, it, that first real warm spell, um, especially once we get around that June 21st at summer solstice, that you know we could have 30,000 people on the on the park on a random Tuesday, um, and you know I'm I'm sure there's times that. You know, it doesn't seem like it, but there's a lot of people on the park. So with all of those people on the park, all of, all of the visitors, how many lifeguards are on staff on any one given day? So um, at, at full complement, which would be when we have all guards working, like Discover Presque Isle, 4th of July, busy Saturdays, Sundays, and in, in, into August, there's 55 lifeguards total. That includes three lifeguard managers. We have 12 supervisors, and then we have uh, 40 lifeguards. So what are the roles and responsibilities of the lifeguards? Sure, so the, the roles and responsibilities, their, their role is to serve and protect the public, um, prevent injury, prevent a situation from happening before it occurs, and just inform them of what's safe, what's not safe to do. But they're also there to make sure that if someone needs assistance, if someone needs help, that you know, there's many times they get down off the chair to help someone uh, get out of the water that's just walking the shoreline if it's kind of on a, on a, you know, on a slopey side. But there's also times where guards are in the water and they're making a swimming rescue or there's someone that, um, you know, there's a boat in distress out near the break walls or a uh, kayak or capsizes, you know, they'll, they'll swim out and they'll assist that individual. Steve, it really sounds like you have seen it all in your time as lifeguard and now manager of the lifeguards. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing this? Uh, since I believe my first day was Memorial Day weekend of 1997. That's incredible. So yeah, it's it's you know it's it's a very rewarding job. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to enjoy being outside. Uh, you have to enjoy working with the public. Um, but at the end of the day, as you know, as as a lifeguard at Presque Isle, you want to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward every minute of every hour of every day and to keep people safe and to have, you know, a good track record that, that we do have, it takes a lot and it's, there's a lot of, it's just not me, it, there's a lot of people that play a role in our success every minute of every day. Mm -hmm. And your team, there is a great camaraderie within mm -hmm. your lifeguarding team. Can you tell me about the bond that's formed and then any maybe some some fun things that they do on the side? Sure, so um, the, there's been individuals before me that have lifeguarded and you know they're older than I am now and they come back and they say this is the best job I ever had. You know when I was in high school and college and they're now physicians, they're firemen, they're you know CEOs they all come back and say, this is the best job I ever had, and it's, it's all about the team building and the camaraderie that you guys in this place provides. So typically what occurs is we have just events, competitions, we call them Lifeguard Olympics. They're held on Saturday mornings, and they're everything from a long swim to a long run. Uh, we do a tug of war, weightlifting, and we divide the guards up into different zones and they're, they compete against each other. Now you might have you know, a gentleman from McDowell who um, his rival is from prep during swim season but they're on the same team or they're in the same zone at Presque Isle. So they're, they're competing, they have to learn to compete as one. They're no longer rivals in the pool. Or, you know, um, individuals from Northeast or Iroquois that are rivals during swim season, they, they could be on the, in the same zone. So, but their actual teammates could be on the opposite zone. So they're, mm -hmm. they're competing against, they gotta learn to compete within and be uh, able and comfortable to compete against their, their teammates, you know, outside of season. And if you really want to see some phenomenal athletes from the area, from the high school and collegiate level, we always encourage the public to come down on a Saturday morning and, and watch some of these events because they, there's a lot that goes into it and there's some really, really good athletes. 
Well, Steve, I am so excited. You told me before the show that through the government channel, we have actually sent you some some great applicants and, and mm -hmm. some great employees. So that makes me very, very happy that we're able to help you do that. So again, for viewers who have been watching and are excited to apply to become a Prescott lifeguard, how do they do that? And most importantly, what's the pay? So we'll we'll start with the pay. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirteen dollars and ninety-seven cents per hour is what the pay will be this year. Guards will be scheduled up to forty hours per week. Um, so that's you know that's a nice nice pay. Mm -hmm. If there's someone out there that's really looking for a, a steady income, we could provide that at Presque Isle if if you get hired on. Um, as far as applying, it's a two-step process. The um, the first step is you have it's a state job, so you have to. Uh, take the civil service exam uh, and then you'll receive a score and after that you will be emailed the actual application. So mm -hmm. you have to do step one before you do step two. Mm -hmm. um, it, it can be a little confusing especially for young adults. The, the easiest thing and the thing that we request you do is just to contact us at Lifeguard Headquarters on Presque Isle. The phone number is 814-833-0526. We would be more than happy to set up a time and a location, have you come to the office, have you, we'll meet you at the Tom Ridge Center. We've, we've done it many times before to assist those individuals because it, it can be a lot and it can be a little overwhelming, um, but we work, we work through it. Uh, so certainly just contact us and we'd be happy to set up a time and a location to, to meet you one-on-one -on -one and, and walk you through that application process. Well, I'm excited again for your next wave of, of new applicants here. Um, what I want to cover again before our show ends um, quickly is when and where is swimming permitted at mm -hmm. Presque Isle? So swimming is only permitted in the guarded areas at Presque Isle. Mm -hmm. For example, if, if you take, um, let's, let's take Beach 9 for example, Pine Tree. That area is marked with cones on the shoreline and there's a 12 foot pole with a colored flag on it and it's going to resemble green, yellow, red. That is the designated swim area on that guarded beach and then out to the orange markers which are four foot in, di or four foot in length. They're placed every morning at uh, shoulder depth. Sometimes we move those in depending on lake conditions. Okay. But it's imperative that the, the public knows and understands the only swimming permitted at Presque Isle is inside the designated swimming area on a guarded beach. Okay, and the flags here look like a stop signal to me. So mm -hmm. green, I would assume green, means green, go. Green typically means go. Little mm -hmm. to no hazard exists. Yellow means use caution. Mm -hmm. you, typically we have yellow up when we have cold water, rough water, um, lateral currents mm -hmm. are, are reasons for that. Red flag, we're usually red flagged because of a couple of a couple things. It could be lightning storms coming across, the water's just too rough. Mm -hmm. um, but if there's a red flag up, that means no swimming. Yes, and, and like you mentioned earlier, Lake Erie can be much more dangerous than mm -hmm. a regular swimming pool. So yes. um, is, is that the major difference then between uh, Presque Isle lifeguards and lifeguards in other areas? I, I, would, I, would, I would say yes, mm -hmm. but the other thing I believe that definitely separates us is all the training the guards get. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they, they get training seven mornings a week um, with our partnership with Allegheny Health Network, with physical training. They, they get recertified every season. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a very demanding job and it, we're gonna take up, you know, 40 hours of your week during the summer, but at the same time between the pay and the, the recertifications and if you have a successful summer and you do a good job, we're gonna hold your job and position for you to come back the following year. So there, there's a lot of benefits as well to it. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Steve, I wanna thank you so much. Our show is coming to a close now, but I wanna thank you for sharing your time, your lifeguarding mm -hmm. experience, and what I really wanna do is thank your staff for keeping us safe while we're swimming at Presque Isle. So we appreciate that. Thank you, it's our pleasure. We we love what we do, we enjoy it. We we like to interact and work with the public, and you know we, we look forward to a nice, enjoyable summer as well. Thank you. Viewers, if you, a family member, a friend, um, has expert swimming skills and you think they would be interested in public safety, please don't hesitate to submit your application to the Presque Isle Lifeguards. Um, it's a really enjoyable and rewarding experience. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Mill Creek Government Channel, and until next time, have a great day.